Hello Raider Nation, this is Duntov. Today I am at the Legion Stadium. It is Tuesday, February 11th, 2020. So I am on L. Davis Way. This is right on the north end. So this person just drove up in this little utility vehicle. I'll show you this flag. Presenting the Raider Nation here. Okay, so we got the scaffolding is the is major again over here. We can see since I, I think I was here Saturday, yes. So I was here Saturday, so now we can see that the top they got like the planks all the way up there. So this is definitely so they could work underneath there to finish off that area right above the lanai doors and then of course i'm assuming they will you know have to continue all the way across i don't know if they're going to build the whole thing up right away or just do half and then move it over and do the other half if you look underneath on this end, so you can see it's just all the open, you know, all the beams and stuff like that where put a clean finish over that. Alright, so as I was driving in, um, that was like a quarter mile away. I'm going to stop over there. You can actually see the arch of the cables from out there. It's down south, south of here, down Dean Martin Drive. So I'll stop down there and put some of that footage in. And you could actually see the arch of the, the way the cables get pushed up to make the roof curve on top. It appears like they are pretty much in place, all these cables they're pretty close to where they're going to get pinned in if you look at the interior cam so they should be getting ready to put the ETFE panels up soon and remember it's going to be done by May the panels because I know stuff's going around I saw on the internet again where people are saying, oh, the, just because the cables are up, the roof's not done. Well, we all know that, but the timeline is May for all the panels to be in. Okay, so this is going to be the main north entrance. They're putting stairs in over here. And then there's the main entrance up there. And then down below again, that would be like a Raider image store. Okay, this is the crane on Saturday they were using to bring a lot of the equipment off the roof. So you can just get a good look and see how big this thing is. So this top arm is just humongous. Should be able to reach probably halfway over the stadium. rested over here pretty big and then in these like planter areas looks like they're still running lines and stuff in there Okay, I'm going to walk around, get some different views, see what we can see. It has been windy yesterday and today, so I'm not sure how much they're doing on the roof right now. It's supposed to calm down though by this afternoon. Okay, I am on Dean Martin Drive. This is south, probably a quarter mile away from the stadium. So just from here, I wanted to show you how you can see the curve of the cables now on top of the roof. 
we look between the signs here. So you can see how the cables are arching upward now to give the roof that curve. So once the panels are on there, you know, that way the water will drain off there easier. You can see that a lot of the equipment looks like it's been removed all the way. We still got the blue, those are the cable guides. It seems like a lot of stuff has been brought down. So the cable lift looks like it's about complete. I know when I looked the other day on the interior, the interior cam, it didn't have, it didn't have the lower cables pinned in yet, but they were pretty close. And then also, if you do come here, you got all these, there's the courtyard in, residence in, they're all within walking distance of the stadium. They're all lined up over there. Okay, we got some interior cam here. This is the Panorama Ultra HD. So this is from February 10th, 2020 at 1.03 p.m., which was yesterday. So I wanna show, we did get some rain that Sunday night, so through Monday morning. So you can see some of this concrete they're putting down, how it's, it's all wet. So I do not know like if that kind of rain is something that they consider, you know, that would damage some of the finishes already. So we did get some rain, but you can also see they're getting a lot of this concrete in. They started these other ones. Remember they left this whole row. That was so they could get the equipment in to finish this. So now they're doing every other one and then they could come back in and finish those. And then that, I don't know what, looks like they're going to put concrete on this side then soon too. You can see rebar down here. Alright, so we got the roof. Now I just shown the, where I went like a quarter mile away, where you up a little higher and you could see the curve of the roof. So these seem like this is about how it's going to be. So it's kind of arced the same on both sides. So it has the curve at the top and at the bottom. We're going to zoom in and I'm going to show you, I think it's this one here. Alright, so right here. This is a strand jack. This is what pulls the smaller cables that are connected to the main cables. So then you could see there are no cables coming out of it. So they're done using that. Because they would come out the back and then those are what they put in them trays that hold the coiled cables. That's what we saw them taking down with the crane on Saturday. So if we look here, this is if you look at one of my earlier videos, they think they started in April, April through like July or August when they were putting up the canopy trusses. So they had the ends that have like the holes where you would attach these cables. So you can see this top one. This is a top cable right here. This is the end of it. And then it comes out like that far that you can't see behind this. This is the canopy truss and it gets pinned in right here. So now if you look down below, this is the bottom cable. 
you can see this blue block right here it's hitting this already so that's as far as that could lift that bottom cable and that's probably why the strand jack you don't see any cables coming out because the bottom cables are lifted as high as they can go but they just haven't disconnected all of this rig this is where the smaller cables that go through the strand jack are hooked to this that would pull the cables up so the cables appear to be as high as they could go and then if we come to the side here all right so this is a top cable and you can see how this spars sideways the reason they have it like that is because the cable guide equipment is in the way so right here is the bottom of the pole it'll go right onto this so you know that looks about the same distance that'll just swing down right here and that'll support the top and the bottom cables together if we look at this one you can see how it goes it's this part right here see they just bolt them together right there so this is the bottom cable see how they crisscross so then ones hook up in here and uh, you know they're going both directions north south east west so the cables appear to be all in place they're just not all secured yet it looks like because every one of them the end is is as far as it could go I think if we go this way there you can see some guys working here there's another little bar right here see how they just hold them up out of the way because I think it hits the equipment and it'll attach right behind this front one and it'll attach there so the cables are pretty much in place kinda looks like they might be taking the rigging off of this one right here because it pins in down here somewhere let's see if the strand jack if we could see anything all right we can't even see it but don't see any cables because they would be coming up through here and coming up around there so they all seem to be in their location all right now let's look at the seats so we got this this right here this is the very northern fourth level so you can see they started there they skipped this second one and then they go and then they skip this is the 50 yard line so this most definitely will be the Raiders logo here let me zoom out and then we got all the way around and then this is the 300 level so this is the south end see all the boxes they put out they get them staged and then they'll come in and they have a crew that will snap them somehow they secure well, if you look over here they secure onto these bars here they get them in pretty fast and then if you look at the very front so they're not gonna have like a railing like they do here they're gonna have the glass so the one thing I was thinking about in the renderings all right so if we look down we can't see it that well but all right this is gonna be the south side you know field's gonna slide out and I'm assuming they got seats that are like movable so when they put them in but if they have the glass if we have a black hole how's the players gonna jump in that up on the black hole with that glass right there I'm wondering if they're going to change that, if anyone thought about that, or maybe I'm completely wrong. But in the renderings, it has the glass just like it shows on these other levels. So that will just be something, you know, just something to think about. So let's go up on this new, so this is the home side, fourth level. So we can see they're working on all these seats up here now. And you can see these guys right here. So this was yesterday. I'm sure when they update this, probably both of these sections will already be done. They go in pretty quick. I'm not sure how many seats are in each box, but you can see they fit a lot of seats in here. So he's got one there. Somehow they just snap them off. All right. Let's see what are these guys doing over here. Right 
here. These, I would think this would be see-through glass. So I don't know if it just has a protective film on it or if it's just going to be a closed wall. And then up here, this is going to be like all the press air, press boxes and stuff. That's above the fourth, fourth level. Okay, and then even all these strand jacks, if we look again, this is on the west side. None of them have cables running them, running inside through them anymore. So that tells you that those have to all be pretty secured already, the lower cables. None of them have any wires coming in. So they're probably pinning them in there. That's probably what they're doing. They're getting them pinned in and removing the the blue blocks that they're attached to. All right. So there's the roof. I think this right here, that's going to be the permanent curve of the lower cables. Okay, this is the east side. Very windy over here. I think the wind is just hitting against the stadium and it's blowing over here, but you can see them putting some of the light panels up. That is Yesco. So Yesco is the company that does all most of the signs that I know of in Las Vegas. They've been doing them for years and years. So there's one of their trucks. And those must be where they got all these light panels up. And then over here on the ground. So you can see like where See where the white stripes go and then they stop. There's like missing panels there. Like over here also. So they still got these panels down here. We got some on the ground. Those are like different ones that will go in their place. As you can see like this one right up here. You can see how there's like a vent. So I'm sure they gotta make special ones you know, to put in its place. I do see one that's a little bit bent. You can see it right there, I'm sure. Then we got this area, that is the video screen going right that way. Trying to see through the lanai door glass. Not sure how well we'll be able to see all the cables and strand jack. They're not strand jacks, but spars. Those are the white poles in there. We actually have one strand jack on the. There's a flatbed trailer down here. Let's see it sitting on there. So again, those strand jacks are the ones that pulled the smaller cables that were connected to the main roof cables. They pulled them up to get them in place. They're still moving a lot of dirt out of the out of the area over here. So they still have one big pile in here. So they're bringing all these trucks, loading them up. You can see one driving in right back there. Not sure what they're going to load up on this giant trailer. They, this is on the north side still, L. Davis. 
looks like they're getting ready to load something up. I don't think they just delivered, maybe. Okay, I'm now on the Hacienda Bridge. This is still the north end. So we can see where they're working on that area. It's like a planter box type thing. About 8.30 right now in the morning. Looks like they're just all getting in, getting ready. See if we can see what we got in there. Some pipe. You look all around the property you know they got a lot of it graded out I'm assuming you know since the cranes still have to go all the way around to work on the roof that they will have to wait to finish the you know parking lot areas I could be wrong but I didn't I don't think they would drive them over the like, paved areas It seems like they're working more on the outside edges to get them finished. I'm going to swing around to the very northwest side. This is where all the panels used to be stored. And you can see they've been working out here to get it. See this whole area. This road right here, this is the Hacienda right here. So if you're gonna go to their Frias lot, the old taxi company they bought, you go down here, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it, but there's a, all right, you can see the red light there. That's Valley View, you would make a right. And the Frias lot is right down that way. It was like a 15 to 20 minute walk by myself if you're walking with thousands of people who are drunk you know it's going to take a little bit longer I'm sure and then we got this lot in the front here it's just been sitting like this they're using it just to store some of these trailers still not sure I think it's going to be like a Uber lift type drop off area. Alright, I'm on the north end still. This is the little side street. I think it's called El De Baron. It's between Hacienda and El Davis Way. Just wanted to show the construction elevator. Pretty sure that they start taking some of it apart. Doesn't look like any, looks the same here, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the elevator part going up or down anywhere. And they actually have a crane in there to just start moving right now. Where they might be getting ready to 
move something else. I know this thing has to come out sooner than later just so they can finish <coughs> all these panels in between it. You can see all the way up how they haven't finished any of the glass or panels in between, like behind it. Then I'm still not sure why the great looking panels are not finished on this side yet. Might be just because of the cranes and stuff in the way, I don't know. And we can just see them working in this northwest lot. All right, I'm on Polaris right now. We got the sun shining straight at us, but just wanted to show the construction elevator. You can see where it is taken apart. The whole middle area that the actual elevator lifted up on is gone. They got to bring stuff up with the cranes or they got to go through the inside and go up the different levels. I know on the south end they have the ramp that goes up to the different levels. And then we could see along this, this would be the northwest corner. They're just cleaning up a lot of stuff up here still. see the strip in the background so this is the view when you look out the lanai doors from inside the stadium you will see all that las vegas skyline all right i'm still on polaris this is more towards the south west end of it but we can see that there's the elevator again that they're taking apart and then we'll show all the glass and panels going up here so we got about a third left on this area and then we could show the south end of it they got pretty much everything but that top little spot up there so they're putting some kind of strip it looks like you can see like in between kind of like an expansion joint or something the way that just in between the glass panels there they got you just see how they're like finishing that in so that's what it appears like they're working on Pretty windy out here. Okay, there's the last of the duck work. Not gonna see much anymore. And you can 
see some of the spars and cables through the last of the opening here. It's pretty windy, but there's there still are some people up there on the roof. Not sure if we could see them from this one. There he is. south entrance right there. I also heard online, I'm not mentioning names, but someone said yesterday there was like hardly anyone here working. They're all inside right now. There's I think supposed to be up to 2,000 people a day here right now. Just because you don't see them outside, everything's happening inside. So I don't know why some people are hoping this place doesn't open on time. That's what it, at least that's what it seems like. But it will be ready. And then the filtry is back down behind these palm trees that's where the filtrate area is you know it's down lower I'm not sure how many feet lower it is at least 20 feet maybe more than that here comes a whole gang of people looks like they're on a tour maybe I could just run in with them <laughs> so they just came out the building behind me that I think is part of the Raiders all their parking says LVR parking only. Too bad I didn't have a red hard hat. And of course, we got the gold mine with the. We still got the coffee and the two food trucks there. We had all the red hard hats. Pretty sure they're going on a tour. Looks like they're going towards the south entrance. Or maybe not. They're going in a door over this way. Well, maybe. Anyone knows how to get on this tour? Put it in the comments. I'd love to be able to get inside. I don't know if they'd let us video anything, but we'd love to check it out. As many of you would too, I'm sure. I just want to see if they're going to bring them inside or if they're just going to go around the outside of the building there. Okay, they're going in. Alright, those are some lucky people there. Okay, I am now on the west side. This is looking at the south end. I'm still on Polaris. I want to show up on the roof. So you can see the wind up there still. I'm pretty sure in the comments someone told me, like well, I think it was last week or so, that that, that white looking stuff flying around is just to protect what's underneath you know they have covering up something on the roof panels right now
still got strand jack there. You notice there's no cables coming out the back side of it. So it appears like they're starting to take all the stuff apart. I'm not 100% sure because the, the last interior cam that I checked out, a lot of the lower cables didn't appear like they were pinned in yet. So I don't know if they still need to use these or not. But also that interior, the high def, it was like a couple days old, so. They might be done already. All right, if we look, this is where the south end, they call them super trusses. They go across here. That's what's holding up the whole south end of the stadium. So we can see these panels here that they're getting them all prepped, getting the finishes on them to probably seal it up. And then they'll, I'm not sure what kind of exterior finish this area is going to have. If it'll kind of appears like it'll be more like they're doing at the headquarters. Because I think they had this yellow and then they put that orange waterproofing and then how they put the white over it they'll probably just put the black over this one and we're gonna look way on that southeast end see a lot of people down in that area let's see if we could see what they're doing They are getting more and more seats put in. They're all they are doing the the west side now. Zooming in on these boxes, I can't tell, but I'm thinking these are seats right here. The way they the way they've been doing it, if you look at the interior cam, they stage all the boxes in the section and then they have a crew that goes in and just starts opening them all up and getting them all mounted on the brackets. They get them in pretty fast. And if we swing around here, this is the parking lot on the very southwest end that they've had blacktop. They're using it for all the offices right now parking. Not sure how much longer the offices will stay where they're at. They're on that southeast corner down there. All right, I guess that's all we got for today. So we got the construction elevator coming off on that northwest corner. And we got most of the glass and panels up. Alright Raider Nation, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.